boys and girls. It's me, Mrs. Jones, coming to you from my living room. I hope you're all enjoying your time with your family and that you're getting some learning in too. I really miss you all very much and I hope to see you guys in just a couple weeks, okay? I am here today because I am going to read you guys a book. This book is called Spaghetti in a Hot Dog Bun. Having the courage to be who you are. I know we all sometimes have a hard time. We want to fit in, we want to act a certain way, but the best way to be is to be ourselves. And as most of you know, Mrs. Jones can be quite silly. And sometimes people think that's weird, but that's just me being me. And I like being me. So I hope you like being you too. This book is called Marie, called by Maria Dismondi, and it's illustrated by Kim Shaw. An illustrator is the person who drew the pictures in the book. The delicious smell of breakfast filled the air as Lucy's grandpa handed her a plate. Lucy smeared ketchup on her toast. She turned to her grandpa and said, Papa Gino, Harriet said she's never heard of ketchup on toast. Her family uses butter and jelly. everyone likes the same thing, Lucy. It doesn't mean one person is right or wrong. We're all different. What a boring world it would be if we were all exactly alike. Do you remember what's really important, Papa Gino asked? Yes, Papa. Even if we are different from others on the outside, we all have a heart with feelings on the inside. my girl. Remember, when you treat others with kindness and love, you are doing the right thing, Papa Gino replied. On the school bus, Lucy and her friend Harriet pulled out some paper and crayons. Sitting across from them was Ralph. As usual, Ralph sat alone, staring out the window. He looked over at them and rolled his eyes. In the classroom, Lucy sat down near the teacher. Ralph carelessly hurried over and tripped on Lucy's foot. Before long, he was glaring at her. Ralph whispered, woof, I can't see the book with the poodle in front of me. Lucy could hear him giggle behind her. Oh no, why did it have to be me, she wondered. Mm. So it looks like something went wrong and he took it out on her. It wasn't her fault that he tripped. Sometimes accidents happen, right? During lunch, Harriet shouted one of her silly jokes over the other children's voices. As the girls ate, their bellies shook with laughter. Across the table, Ralph hollered, yuck, that's the, that's the disgusting smell. Whoever heard of eating spaghetti in a hot dog bun? Tony and the other children at the table turned away from Ralph, shaking their heads. Ralph continued, poor little Lucy with her hair so poofy. Tears filled Lucy's eyes and she began to cry. On the way home, Lucy thought about what had happened. Maybe Ralph is mean to me because he thinks being different is bad. I think he would stop teasing me if he only knew that we should all be different. Slowly, Lucy stepped off the bus. How was your day, Papa Gino asked. Fine, she mumbled. Papa reached over and pulled a crayon out of her hair. How did this happen, he asked. Lucy didn't say a word. That night, as Papa Gino tucked Lucy into bed, he asked, is everything all right at school? Lucy rolled over. He sat down and whispered, always remember, if something's not right, we can work on fixing it together. It's not that easy, thought Lucy. How do I stop Ralph from teasing me? How can he have a heart and be so mean? Lucy had a hard time falling asleep, worrying what would happen tomorrow. So sometimes we know that things are bothering us and we don't necessarily always like to share it with trusted adults, but it's important that we do because adults can help us fix our problems. The following day, Lucy was surprised to find Ralph leaving her alone until Lucy took the bag Ralph handed her. 
Inside were dog bones with a note that read, Lucy, Lucy, eat stinky food that puts us in a big bad mood. Lucy, Lucy, hair shaped like a cone. Here's a treat for you, a yummy dog bone. The beating of Lucy's heart was so loud she knew everyone around her could hear it. Stop, it hurts my feelings when you do this, Ralph, Lucy said. Please stop. Ralph turned and walked away. Ooh, I love Lucy's choice of words. I always tell my students to always use words like it hurts my feelings when, when someone does something that we don't like. It's important to let people know how we feel. It was recess time and Lucy played alone. She didn't want to tell her teacher about Ralph. She was afraid of being a tattletale. Lucy wished Papa Gino was there to help. What should I do? She asked herself over and over. The bell rang as recess ended. Help! cried a child off in the distance. Tony yelled. Ralph got himself stuck at the top of the monkey bars. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. What do you think might happen? Because Ralph is stuck on the monkey bars. Think about that for a second. We know that Lucy's still outside, so what might happen? This is my chance. I'll go tell Ralph how mean he really is. M-E-A-N, mean. Lucy stomped off toward the monkey bars. <gasps> I didn't think that was gonna happen. When she reached Ralph, Lucy paused. She looked up, she looked him in the eye and said, what you did was so mean, standing before Ralph. Lucy could hear her papa's words. Ralph did have a heart with feelings. In that moment, Lucy decided what she would do. She saw tears in Ralph's eyes. He hesitated to move and whispered. I'm scared, Lucy reached out and said, here, take my hand, and she helped him down. The two walked back to the classroom without saying a word. Wow, I think that's pretty cool that Lucy ended up helping him, especially since he had been so mean to her. As the bus pulled up to Lucy's stop, Ralph reached over and handed her a picture. Lucy was amazed by what she saw. Thanks, she muttered softly. After she got off the bus, Lucy smiled and said, Papa, there's this boy Ralph who was really mean to me. Today he was in trouble and I helped him. So it looks like he made her a card. I bet that made her feel very nice. Papa Gino hugged Lucy and replied, that took a lot of courage. It wasn't the easiest thing to do. You chose to treat others the way you want to be treated. I'm so proud of you, Lucy. As they walked home, she asked him what was for dinner. When Papa Gino said spaghetti, Lucy knew immediately what she would have for lunch the next day. Her favorite sandwich, spaghetti and a hot dog bun. And that is the end. I want you guys to be thinking about what lesson Lucy learned in this book. And Papa Gino also had given her some really good advice as well. I know it's hard when kids aren't being very nice to us, maybe our brothers or sisters or friends at school, but it's always important to do our best to be kind ourselves. Because even if someone's not being kind to us, we can do our best to be kind. And that usually helps make things a little better between you and your friends. So I'm going to leave you guys a list at the end of this so you guys can ask some questions with your family and discuss them, okay? Again, I miss you guys a lot and I hope to see you guys in a couple weeks, all right? Stay tuned, Mrs. Barrow is gonna send you your next book. Bye.